I am James Swanick from Project 90, the program that helps people quit alcohol. And I'm with Joe Worley, who's a 50-year-old plant manager from a $250 million home windows business in Holland, Michigan, who's now 120 days alcohol free. Joe, how does it feel to be 120 days alcohol free? Oh, man, I feel like a new man, James. So what was your drinking like before you joined my Project 90 program, which helps people quit alcohol? Yeah, it was really problematic. So um, I was just using way too much around my family. Um, I was using it way too much when we were out for business dinners and just really struggled. And, um, you know, I couldn't drink socially. I couldn't have one or two or three. It was always somewhere between four and 10. And it started to become a lot more eight, nine and 10. And then you felt lousy the next day. So It was a vicious cycle and it was affecting my performance at work. It was putting stress on my family and it was really stuck. So I'd had a couple goes in AA and that worked for a while, but it just, it kind of kept you stuck in shame and it kept you always identifying yourself as an alcoholic. And I didn't feel like I was, but I I couldn't break through and stop and deal with social situations. So that was the beauty of your program. And that's why I was so excited to do it. And let's skip forward to the results that you got from, from being, uh, now 120 days alcohol free. You were telling me before we we started recording this that you you've lost 25 pounds. Yeah, that you're sleeping better. You've reduced the stress in your marriage. That you have more confidence at work and you're getting more results at work. So yeah. how did how did that happen? Like how why do you think you lost 25 pounds just from quitting drinking? Well, the nice thing is you feel a lot better when you're not drinking. So you're not craving, you know, macaroni and cheese or potatoes or just the crazy stuff you you crave when you're hungover. So um, I enjoy, I've always enjoyed eating right and exercising and now I can do it all the time. And it's amazing how quickly the weight came off and just build confidence and then just kind of go with more and more. So um, it's great. I had to clean out my closet and uh, I was able to pull out a bunch of 32 inch waist jeans that have been sitting there for a couple of years. So I'd always hope to get back to them and by golly, I fit in them again. And what was it that inspired you to, to give up alcohol this time around? Because you said you'd, you'd tried Alcoholics Anonymous and you'd had a little bit of success, but then you found yourself back, back drinking again. So what was it about my program, Project 90, that inspired you to you know book a call and ultimately join our group of people that you know that that quit drinking yeah i'd always had this nagging fear in the back of my head about how am i going to break this break this cycle and uh, what i would do is i would always muscle through and stop drinking first part of the year and then i would kind of start to pick it up in the spring and summer and by by fall and the holidays it was full on again so i went through this vicious cycle of shedding some weight and then putting it back on and my wife watched me do this over and over. And um, I just always had this fear that I wasn't going to be able to stop. Um, and what was different about this was it just it gave me a, a way to deal with social situations because that's what, what always triggered for me. Again, um, my family likes to drink a lot. I mean, it's just so common in society. Um, but this taught me a way to positively get through it. So and especially at work and things like that. So um, that was the big difference for me. That was the big change. And it was really, quite frankly, it was really easy, but I would never have figured it out on my own. So, Yeah. And so just tell our viewer a little bit about what Project 90 is and what you found to be the most benefit from it that, that got you to the point where you're now 120 days alcohol free, as opposed to what you'd tried previously that didn't get you there. Sure. You know, it sounds simple, but a lot of it's just semantics and wording, but you start telling yourself that I'm, I'm choosing to live alcohol free instead of, oh, I can't drink. I'm, I'm doing this thing, you know, so you're just much more positive. And it's a lot easier to deflect criticism when it comes your way or people that are challenging you. And I, I found that pretty quickly. They'd be like, oh, okay, no big problem. And, um, and then now I'm finding that some of my friends are actually like, geez, maybe I ought to give that a go because you're looking really good. So I've got friends they haven't joined your program yet, but uh, if, if they're interested, I'll certainly steer them your way. But, um, you know, it just it just taught me to get through those those types of things and deal with the social pressure of it. And now it's no problem at all. I've got enough confidence. And um, people love you when you're the designated driver. And my wife's a heck of a lot more interested in me when I'm not falling asleep when we get home from a date. So um, <laughs> it's just that simple. And uh, I know that you were concerned about um, socializing without alcohol doing some business deals or even just having fun without alcohol. Um, what have you found using 
my methodology in terms of socializing without alcohol now. Right. Yeah. I mean, you just, you just learn to order first or just, Hey, I just want a club soda and a, and a, and a lime. And uh, what I've noticed is actually not as many people drink as I thought they did. Cause when I was in it, I was the instigator. I was ordering wine. I was bringing rounds from the bar. And now that I'm not doing that, I'm actually noticing Jesus, actually a lot of people that don't drink and the ones that do, that's fine. Carry on. Um, they're the ones that are tired the next morning or late for the first meeting of the day, you know, and I'm there sharp and feeling well. So it's just a lot better spot to be in. And it was all great fun. I can't change the past, but uh, boy, it's a much better spot to be in. Yeah. And what were your, what was your skepticism or your reservations about doing my methodology when you, when you began? I mean, ultimately you, you signed up, you joined, you took the action. Now you're 120 days alcohol free and continuing to go. But what was the story in your head about why doing this Project 90 program wouldn't work for you? Yeah, well, at first, you know, I read through, I did all the accelerators, which is kind of your homework and then your commitment to the program at first. And I had heard a lot of that. I, I read a lot of leadership books. So I'd heard bits and pieces of that. And I was like, really, that's it? There's no magic. But I was like, all right, I, I spent some money, so I'm going to pour myself into it. And then it was just the simple little things like sitting down every morning and doing my daily 20, which is what are the 20 things I'm grateful for. And that really set me off to a positive uh, spin in the morning. Um, so it was just the simple things like that. Um, and then just celebrating the wins. The group calls are great because then you're going through it with people um, that are in a similar situation. So when you first join in, you know, the veteran folks are giving you advice. And then as you progress, then you're giving the newcomers advice. So you kind of help pull like, everybody along. So. I like that. And the uh, personal coaching calls were great because then you could get into any junk you had to work through with your coach. So it was really a nice, nice way to wrap up my week because I'd have my call with my coach. And then at the beginning of the week, we could talk about, yes, made it through the weekend, you know, and it was easy and then it just became easier and easier. So why do you think that this methodology has worked when doing AA or willpower previously hasn't worked? Yeah, it's positive. You know, um, AA is really a negative thing. And I don't want to, I don't want to be too tough on them because they obviously help a lot of people, but it really keeps you kind of stuck in shame. Like when you share in AA, you say, my name's Joe and I'm an alcoholic. So you're constantly reminding yourself that. And um, I had quit before I really destroyed anything in my life. Thank God. So they always called me kind of a high bottom drunk. So it's like the program never really fit for me. But with your program, it was positive. It was wins. It was reprogramming my, my brain that oh, I usually just drink uh, soda and cranberry tonight, you know, and it was the simplest darn thing. So it was just positive and power of positivity. So and I'm a half glass full person. I'm a very positive thinker. So that just paired well with my makeup and the way my brain works. And how has your wife responded to the new Joe who's 120 days alcohol free and continuing to be alcohol free. Yeah. At first she was skeptical. She's like, all right, we'll see, you know, and I hope the best for him. But now she's like, you are totally different. And she really said that what she always felt like before was there was a third person in our relationship. And that was the person was alcohol because she liked me the way I was. But once I would start drinking, um, I wasn't mean or violent. I was kind of a happy drunk, but still I wasn't me and it just bothered her. So she's thrilled. Um, she's just really excited about, she's got the, the real Joe back, the man she married back and not, you know, what this last 15 years have really robbed. And who else in your life has got to benefit from you being 120 days alcohol free and counting? Yeah. So my coach really encouraged me to come clean and share with my kids. So I've got a daughter that's 22 and a son that's going to be 20 here in a week. And I told them, Hey, here's what I'm doing. Here's why. And, you know, and I, and I just came clean and said, you know, I don't have the best relationship with alcohol. You guys have seen me drink too much a lot. You know, and here's why I'm stopping. It's affecting my health and my job and all that. And they were both like, hey, good for you, dad. That's great. You know, so um, I'm sure more questions will come from them. I haven't had deep conversations with them, but they obviously are happy, you know, that their dad's more engaged now. Yeah, beautiful. So let's just summarize what life was like before and what life is like now. So before you did my methodology and quit drinking, what was life like around your health, your wealth, your love, and your happiness? Yeah, work was a slog. I had a rough year in 2018, and I turned to alcohol to try to solve that. We had a lot of pressure on us. We had some new executives, um, and I, I didn't deal with it well. I wasn't sleeping well, so I started drinking even more, and that's like the worst thing you can do. 
So then I started missing things at work. I was late. I was making poor decisions. I wasn't sharp early in the morning. Um, now I've got my confidence back. I can make decisions much more quickly. I'm getting good sleep. So I'm rested when I get to work. I'm much more engaged. So I'm a much better version of myself. So that's going to open doors in due time, either here or elsewhere as my company grows. Um, my health feels better, sleeping better. I've lost some weight. I'm exercising again, which is great. So my family's happier. It's, it's a win, win, win all the way around. And was doing the Project 90 program, did it feel like a struggle? Did it feel like you were depriving yourself of something fun? Or did you feel something very different? No, it was very positive. I, I began to really look forward to my calls, um, with my coaching calls at, at the end of the week, and then the group call on Monday. I mean, it was something to look forward to. I never dreaded it by any means. They're really positive and fun. What would you say to someone who's thinking about following my methodology, following my system, who's maybe comparing it to doing AA or brute willpower or an in-treatment center or reading a book? Well, what would you say to, to that person? Oh, I, I think the best of this program, and I would encourage anyone to try it. it, it is money well spent. And I was a little shocked with how much I spent at first, but you can't put a price tag on it. And that's, and that's how you pulled me in. And you were totally right on that. You can't put a price on getting a good, healthy relationship with, uh, with yourself and getting past alcohol and just learning how much damage it's really doing to your health, your wealth, your relationships and holding your career back. So it's simple. It's beautiful. And I think that's why it works so well. I mean, simple things are good, like keep it simple, stupid, right? We've all heard the KISS method. And that's kind of what this is. And it's easy. And you'd be amazed how quickly you can reprogram your brain and develop those new neural pathways. And you just start thinking positive and it's not a struggle anymore. So you're 120 days alcohol-free as you and I are recording this. So yeah. what, uh, what does the future hold for you, Joe, in relation to not just you know, your relationship with alcohol, but also health, wealth, love, happiness? Like, What do you feel is possible for your life now? Oh, I'm, I'm staying on the train. I'm, I'm done with it. You know, I, I can't go back and change the past, but it, was, it did not have a positive impact on me at all. So why would I go back to it? You know, the reward now for me is good health, feeling much more better, feeling positive. So why would I go back and punish myself and my body and start that cycle over? So I finally broke it and that's where I'm going to stay. Awesome. Well, thank you, Joe. I, I just want to acknowledge you for your commitment to your health and you showed up and you were super positive and you were sharing in our closed Facebook group of other members and uh, you were supporting other people and you were allowed yourself to be supported. And so I just want to thank you for, you, for your contribution to Project 90 because I know that you inspired other members to stay alcohol free and, and to take great positive um, actions uh, as well. So I acknowledge you and I, and I thank you, Joe. Yeah, my pleasure. And I know this, this isn't a religious program, but you guys truly are a gift from God. You and Kevin, my coach, have been absolutely fantastic. So the work you're doing is absolutely amazing. You're truly saving lives. So I hope you guys take a lot of joy in that. Thank you, Joe. I so appreciate that, mate. Congratulations and continued health to you, sir. Thanks for listening to the Alcohol-Free Lifestyle Podcast. I want to load you up with some free stuff right now. So if you want to go to jameswanick.com slash guide, I will send you my Quit Alcohol Guide, which has helped six-figure entrepreneurs and top professionals reduce or quit drinking. You can also text the word Quit Guide to the number 44222 if you're in the US, of course. It doesn't really work anywhere outside of the US. But if you're in the US on your mobile phone and you'd like that guide, text the word Quit Guide to the number 44222 or you can go to jameswanick.com slash guide. If you'd like to schedule a free 15-minute call with one of my top coaches, just an exploratory call to see if or how we can help you, then you can go to jameswanick.com slash schedule, or you can text the word PROJECT90 to the number 44222 if you're listening in the US on a mobile phone. That's jameswanick.com slash schedule, or you can text the word PROJECT90, that's one word, PROJECT90, to the number 44222. Feel free to send me a direct message over on my Instagram account, which is at James Swanick. You can also watch video episodes of this podcast and a series of other educational videos on my YouTube channel, which is James Swanick One. 
or you can direct message me on Facebook at James Swanick Official. And finally, a request. Would you please now write a short review of the podcast inside of the Apple Podcast app on your phone or on iTunes on your desktop computer? Would you please give the show five stars and write a quick one or two sentence review? This will help the show get in front of even more listeners, potentially transforming someone's life. You can rate and review the show inside of your Apple Podcast app on your phone or over on iTunes on your desktop. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you next time.